For those of you with several Macs at home, looking to upgrade to Apple's newest operating system, Mountain Lion, may realise it's a bit of a pain having to re-download over 4 gigabytes worth of data to every single Mac. Now to get around this we can download one copy of Mountain Lion and create a bootable USB drive to install the operating system straight from the USB drive just like the uh, USB drive Apple used to supply with the previous operating system Lion. Now to do that we do need to download obviously at least one copy of Mountain Lion which is available in the Mac App Store so uh, go ahead, download your copy of Mountain Lion and once downloaded you'll find a prompt open straight away in regards to starting the installation of Mountain Lion. So once downloaded we close the App Store and we will be greeted with this screen to install Mountain Lion. Now we don't want to actually continue and install Mountain Lion at this point because once you've installed the software it will automatically delete the actual installation file. So we're going to quit the installation here and we're going to browse to our applications folder. Once we're in our applications folder we can see we've got the actual download here so install OS Mount OS X Mountain Lion. Now installing Mountain Lion will delete this file straight after so we don't actually want to install it just yet. Instead right click on the file and go to show package contents. This will open the actual downloaded package. We then browse into contents, browse into shared support and we can see the actual install image here 4.35 gigs worth so we're going to double click this DMG file to actually mount it. Once it's mounted we have our new mounted DMG here. Now that's in a mounted state so we can close this we can see it here so it's mounted here and we will also close Finder. We now need to open Disk Utility. You need a USB drive of at least 8 gigs or more. So here we can see I've got an 8 gig USB flash drive. I'm going to format this as Mac OS Extended Journaled. I'll give it a name of OS X. And we're going to erase and erase and we'll just wait for this to erase and format okay so once that has been formatted we can see here it's formatted now as Mac OS extended journal we go to restore at restore our source is going to be this image here so we've got our source as this image and our destination is going to be the OS X so we just drop this into here and drop the destination as my USB flash drive. We then click on restore. This will delete the contents of the OS X flash drive that we've just formatted, which is fine. So we click on erase, type in your password and OK. And then we just wait for it to copy across. Uh, it, would, it will take quite a while to copy across. I am going across to a USB 2 flash drive and it, obviously it's a large DMG file. So I'll just wait for that to complete and then we will continue. Okay, so once the process has complete, it will present these folders. Now we can close these and we'll see that whereas I had renamed this USB flash drive as OS X it's automatically renamed it for me as Mac OS X install ESD so if we close disk utility and I go into finder we can see we've got two here one is the actual DMG which I mounted and the second is my actual USB drive. So this was an 8 gig USB drive and we can see down here I've got 3.64 gig remaining. 
So it's just over the, the 4 gigabytes uh, DMG file has been used on this actual USB flash drive. So this was the mounted image, so I can now eject this mounted image. And I now have my USB drive here. If I double click on this, it should start the mounting line installer, which it does, and which we can continue. Or, if I cancel this, you basically restart your Mac with this USB drive inserted, holding the option key to show your system disk as well as any other bootable drives, including this USB flash drive, which is now bootable. And we can install mounting lines straight off of the USB drive onto a fresh system or upgrade the system just by double clicking the mounting line icon as I just showed here. So there we go, that was creating a bootable and installable mounting lion USB flash drive. Hope that helps and saves you having to re-download over 4GB multiple times.